So when you get your tool, first thing you want to do is make sure you put your handle in, that way you have a good secure grip on the tool. And as well as you want to make sure on the bottom of your disc, you have it nice and bolted in, that way that it's really not going to fly anywhere. If it does, for whatever reason, we do have our safety guard on the side of the tool, basically to make sure you don't cut your body up. But once you have a nice firm grip and everything's all good to go, make sure your piece is fully clamped down before you get going on it because you don't want the piece to fly anywhere. That could be just as bad as the disc. Flip this uh, handy little switch here. And you're good to go. We're going to measure the speed of our angle grinder. The angle grinder is powered by an AC current. Carbon brushes like this one convert the AC power to a single directional torque. The motor is now spinning the armature to which this pinion gear is attached. The ring gear is connected to the pinion gear, which rotates the spindle, thus rotating the disc.